Hello everyone, welcome to the Lower Carousel plugin video tutorial. Before going to the plugin features, let's have a look what you can do with the plugin. You can create a beautiful low carousel like this, and also you can create a low carousel with pagination dots. And you can set navigation and logo hover border color to your carousel. You can create different carousel customizing the plugin features. Let's directly move on to the plugin features. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Logo Carousel. When you click on it, it will take you to the All Logo page. Click Add New to create a new logo and fill out the page with necessary information. And publish the logo and repeat the process to add as many logo as you want. Next one is Shortcode Generator. Here you will find all the shortcodes you have created using the plugin listed in one place. For each shortcode, you'll find a title, a shortcode, and the date it was published. If you want to make a copy any of your existing shortcode, then simply click on the duplicate button. Now click Add New to create a new shortcode and type a title for it. Below that, you'll find several tabs. Initially, you will be in the general settings. Here, layout preset is set as carousel, and carousel mode is set as standard. Set a logo column for responsive devices. Filter logos is set as all, that means all the logos will be displayed in the logo showcase. Set how many logo you want to display in your carousel. Leave it empty to display all the logos in the carousel. Configure the order by and order option from here. Enable or disable the preloader as per your need. Let's have a look at the logo carousel in the live preview. I am talking about this show preview button, by which you can have a look at your customization in the live preview before publishing the shortcut to any web pages. When you click on this, it will take you to the live preview section, as you can see. Now let's move on to the style settings. Here you can show or hide the section title and configure the section title margin and logo margin. Logo position is set to default. Set logo border and border color hover border color from here. If I change the hover border color to red and update the preview, you can see the changes. Now let's move on to the logo image settings. Here you can show or hide the logo images and set the logo image size from several options and check the box if you want to show logo title attribute next one is carousel controls here you will find all the carousel control related properties like you can set the autoplay speed pagination speed pause on hover infinite loop carousel direction configure the navigation and pagination properties from here enable or disable the touch sweep mouse draggable from here now let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode ID from here and go to a page where you want to display it. Put the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block, publish the page and view it. So this is how the logo carousel looks like initially. Now let's go to the plugin settings menu. In the advanced settings, you will find all the options to enable or disable the CSS and JS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Below that in the custom CSS, you can write the custom CSS to modify the plugin default styling. Next one is tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the logos and the logo carousels you have created using the plugin. So that's all about the logo carousel plugin today. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use those extra features of the plugin to make your logo carousel even more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care.